Does red true tide lower blood sugar? Now, this triple agonist is really exciting because red true tide in the clinical studies does seem to lower blood sugar. Now, if you have blood sugar that's too low, in this video, I'm going to show you how red true tide may be a safer GLP-1 treatment if you're looking to lose weight, if you're looking to have a metabolic makeover. While red true tide is not available yet, it's soon to be released, and so I wanna make sure that your body is ready for these beautiful signaling molecules. And so by the end of this video, we're gonna go through all the studies and the reviews of what it does to glucose metabolism, red true tide specifically, and how this triple agonist may be one of the secret weapons to normalizing blood sugar. So I'm Reagan Archibald, I'm the founder of Ageless Future. We have medical-led peptide protocols that are world-class, patented in some cases. And what I'll show you is how you can completely think through a different lens when it comes to your health. There's a lot of people out there making these massive claims on what peptides do, what they don't do. But I'm here to tell you it's beautiful signaling medicine, but at first glance, you'd see that these peptides can do everything for you. Like red tide, it may be able to do everything, including regulating your blood sugar. But I'm gonna tell you that's a false way of looking at it because it requires you to change the environment, change your thinking around things, and that's where you can get the long-lasting results so that you don't need to be on any red tide or GLP-1 or any peptide long term because you've made the changes that are necessary and you've used peptides as a signaling molecule to get you where you wanna go faster. So let's jump in. So here's the studies. What does it do to blood sugar? Well, here's the interesting thing. GLP-1s, semaglutides specifically, did seem to lower blood sugar. In the clinical studies, they found that it lowered blood sugar by, or hemoglobin A1C by about one to one and a half percent. And in comes trizepatide, and trizepatide lowered hemoglobin A1C by about 1.8 percent. And now retitrutide, or retatrutide, retatrutide actually seems to lower it even more. And in one of the studies, what they found is that the overall, with type two diabetes, who were in a study in 2023, the hemoglobin A1C fell as much as 2.02% in 24 weeks. Now that was in the big high dose 12 milligram escalation group uh, versus placebo, which their hemoglobin A1C was 0.01%, so really didn't drop at all. So what they were able to achieve is someone with the 6.5% hemoglobin A1C, had an 82% drop in that number versus somebody who had 5.7. Hemoglobin A1C dropped 31%. And if you look at the studies, it was interesting because somebody, there's a research done a couple years ago and they found that if you can lower your hemoglobin A1C from 5.7 into the optimal range, which we like you to be 5.0 to about 5.5, what happens is when you drop that hemoglobin A1C down, you get out of that pre-diabetic range, you add 4.4 years of lifespan to your future. And the interesting thing in the Triumph 4 study, that's the new one that was just released, they weren't really looking at the ability for diabetics to benefit from this drug. They kind of phased the diabetics out, but they did find overall some reductions in hemoglobin A1C, but they were really looking at what does reditrutide do when it comes to osteoarthritis in the knees, which there is a massive improvement in like 76 to 78 percent of participants in the study actually had a massive reduction in pain and somewhere around 15 percent of them had uh, pain free when it comes to osteoarthritis in the knees so that is noteworthy and not only that but they lost an enormous amount of weight even more than what they've seen in, in the earlier trials so this is why i'm so excited but here's the caveat you know, red true tide alone, while it's not available, there's a lot of these research-based pharmaceuticals out there. And some of these molecules, you don't really know the dosing. The milligrams may not be what's listed on the bottle. And so you gotta be careful with that. And I know there's a lot of, you know, different bills are being released and uh, sponsors from Indiana, which is where Eli Lilly is based. They're promoting what's called the uh, Safe Drug Use Act. That could jeopardize the ability to get red true tide so that Eli Lilly can bring it to market. But the thing that we look at, the way that we've always used these novel peptides, is we only use licensed 503A pharmacies or 503B, 
And what we found is it's got to be very patient specific. So if you're looking to lower your blood sugar, you don't want to depend on retitrutide or retatrutide. You don't want to depend on any other external substance long-term. You want to use these to reboot the metabolic system because there's the four epic triggers. You know, you have emotional triggers and if your stress is high, you can actually get dysregulated blood sugar. I have clients all the time, they eat perfect, but they're pre-diabetic. And when we look at their labs, we ask them how their stress levels are and they're stressed out of their mind. They started too many businesses. They've got too many things going on with their relationships and their family and they're not taking care of their mental health. So emotional stress can dysregulate blood sugar. Physical pain, if you have pain in your body, you're not sleeping as well, you're always achy, that's going to raise up the blood sugar just a little bit. So, you know, get the emotions fixed. One of the things you can do emotionally is breathe. You know, just breathing exercises. There's a reason the Navy SEALs, they use breathing because it actually works. If you've used vagal nerve stimulator, those are pretty interesting because they do seem to lower the stress response. The pain, we found that regenerative medicine, I mean, I have a no pain policy in my body. Anyone who comes into the clinic, we're like, we gotta get rid of your pain and we're gonna use the best medicine that we have access to today to do that. This is where some of the exciting things with the muse stem cells that come from these M MSCs from umbilical cords. I'm excited about that. The amnion, now there's the amnion growth factors that can downregulate inflammation. There's exosomes. There's so many great things that can help your body regenerate it itself. So if you have any kind of pain and you want to lower blood sugar, you got to get rid of the pain. So go to agelessfuture.com. We'll help you find the pathway to get there. The third thing are infections. This is where gut testing, deeper functional medicine testing is going to be really important. So you can see, is it the SARS-CoV-2? You can look at antibodies now to see if long COVID is an issue. If it's Lyme, that's gonna be an issue. If it's mold toxicity, that's a big issue too. You wanna get rid of parasites. You wanna get rid of bacterial overgrowths, unless you like them, but you're gonna feel great once you get rid of them. And then the final one is C, so epic C is chemicals. So get rid of the diet sodas, get rid of the food that it has these engineered ingredients. Those things are all going to help you keep your blood sugar low. And the number one thing is build muscle mass. So this is where if you're using a GLP-1 and you're noticing great benefits in your weight loss, you wanna make sure you're getting a DEXA scan to see how your muscle preservation is. But use other peptides like folostatin-344 or ACE031 or activate the muscles through the growth hormone pathway and do it through a medically supervised team so that you can get it from the right source and you can actually have an action plan that is customized and personalized to you. Not just a treatment plan that's based on scalability, which is what pharmaceutical companies make. You wanna work with a 503A compounding pharmacy and a physician who's a licensed prescriber to do that. And my team are world-class at this. I can help you get access to them. All you need to do is go to agelessfuture.com. And if you love this video, please subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you on the next show.